Hi, kindergarten. It's good to see you. Today is Monday, May 11th, and since it's Monday, we will start with prayer. In today's gospel reading, we hear Jesus call himself the Good Shepherd. As the Good Shepherd, Jesus knows his sheep and he protects them from harm. Jesus uses these images to communicate how he cares for each of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have good that they may have life and have it abundantly. I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. We know that Jesus is trustworthy. How do you experience his love and protection? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the COVID virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the hungry, the lonely, and the needy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those that have passed away, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all our special intentions, think of them now. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We thank you and praise you, God, for Jesus, our good shepherd. As a shepherd cares for the sheep, Jesus cares for us and knows what we need. We pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, said the sun. Good morning, said the sun. I'll be shining on you all day long. Good evening, said the moon. Good evening, said the moon. I'll be dreaming of you all night long. Wake up. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, like I said, May 11th, so we won't be doing calendar, we just did prayer, but I'd like you to know what we will be doing today for our assignments. So one reminder I would like to give you is to, um, if you have a shoe box or some sort of box, um, it doesn't have to be too big, it can be, um, like I said, the size of a shoe box, I forgot to bring an example, but, um, this is a good size. This isn't a box, but this size is good. So the a size of a paper, not bigger than a book, 
like your workbooks, um, but a shoe box would be good. So um, if you have a shoe box or any kind of box, or maybe your moms and dads are keeping um, Amazon boxes, if they receive any um, sort of box in the mail, please save them um, for a project we will be doing in about two weeks um, regarding farms and farm animals. So make sure you keep a box. Okay. Um, in other news, in phonics, we're going to be starting the long O sound. So the long O says, oh, the short O says, ah, ah, ah. Okay. So you'll be working on page, um, 197 and 198. So here's page 197, 197. You're going to look at the picture and you're going to circle if you hear the long O sound. So go ahead and read this um, little story, this little poem right up here first. And then when you get to the activity, you're gonna look at the picture and you're gonna circle the pictures that have the long O sound in it. Okay, so number one, we have rope. So say it, rope, rope. It does not say rop, it says rope. So this word or this picture has a name with the long O sound in it. So we're going to circle it. Number two is bone. Say it, bone. Does it have the long O sound in it? Oh, bone. It does, so we're going to circle that. So do the rest of the page, look at the picture, say the name, and if it has a long O sound, circle it. On the next page, page 198, you're gonna look at the circles, and the circles have, it's like a pizza or a pie. So you're going to look at the circle and you're going to circle the pictures that have the long O sound. So again, over here we have can, bowl, bowl. Does bowl have the long O sound? Bowl. It does. So you're going to circle it. Bus. Bus, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It does not make the O sound, so you're not gonna circle it. And cone, cone, it does. So those two pictures have a low, long O sound. Cone and bowl. So you're gonna do that with the other pies or the other pizzas. Two, there's four. And then you're going to Recall some of those words that you just circled and you're going to write a sentence with a word or two in it. So come up with a sentence with a long O word in it that you use, that you circled up in this um, activity. Okay. All right. So in math, you're going to be so in math, you're going to be going to page 261 and you're going to read aloud with your mom and dad or whoever can help you with your homework, the story, A Walk in the Park. And in this story, it's on page 261, 262, 263 and 264. So what you're gonna do is you're going to listen to your mom and dad or whoever, read the story, and then you're gonna do the math problems that go with it. So for example, on the first page it says, we walk in the park, we see five green bugs and three red bugs. How many bugs do we see? So you're gonna find the five green bugs and the three red bugs, and they're gonna add them together and give me the number. And the number, what it equals, is gonna go right down here on this line. 
And you're going to do that on all the pages until 264. Okay, so that's four pages. You're just going to read it together with your mom and dad and you're going to um, solve those math problems. And then, because we've been so good at math, and then you're going to take the math test for chapter seven on page 257. Okay, so have them read the directions. And since you're not going to need help and it's a chapter test, you are going to answer the questions, the math problems, and fill in the circles for those answers on 257 to 258. Okay, so have your moms and dads test you on this chapter, which was adding, and you guys will do marvelous. I just know it. When you are finished with it, show me a picture of the front and the back, okay? And then in religion, you're going to color. Um, on Friday, I sent you a picture of Mother Mary, a statue. And I have mine that I finished. This is what my Mother Mary looks like. And I put, I crowned her with her flowers right on top right there and I just taped it. If you don't have tape, you can staple it or you can um, paper clip it, whatever you have, just attach it on there. Color it as pretty as you can. And then on the bottom, you're just gonna tape it so it makes like a ring in a stand and then it stands right on your desk or your dresser, in your room, wherever you can see it, okay? And then this week on Friday, we will pray the rosary We'll pray a decade of the rosary to Mother Mary, okay? So today, if you did not, if you weren't able to um, work on this over the weekend, which I don't expect you to do work on the weekend, but if you can, work on it today, okay? And then in science, you're going to be doing the parts of a plant. Um, you're going to act out the parts of the plant and how it grows. And I will show you with my body how you can do, how, how you can act out the parts of the plant right here. Okay. All right. So you're going to act out how the flower and the plants um, grow. So starting from the seeds, you need to make sure your seeds are planted into the ground. And then the roots are gonna come from the seeds and they're going to take up all of the nutrients and water from the ground. And then your stem is gonna grow nice and tall and strong. And then your stems and leaves are going to grow out. And then your flower is gonna bloom and say, Hello, pollinators. So the flower is nice and beautiful so that the bees and insects can find all of the pollen from your beautiful face to pollinate into another um, plant or flower to make fruits and vegetables and other plants and flowers. Okay, so again, that's seeds. Plant your seeds, grow your roots, and take up all the nutrients and water from the soil. And your stem is gonna grow nice and tall. And then come your leaves and your stems. And then your flower blooms. Hello, pollinators. Okay, so do that a couple times until you have memorized it and know how to act like a flower or a plant. Okay, have fun. All right, so I hope you liked that little demonstration. After that, you're going to learn about Janelle and because she is our star of the week and I will be posting her um, all about me video. And then in movement, don't forget to do PE live with Miss Delgado at 10 o'clock, okay? Hope you have an awesome Monday. 
and stay safe, kinder. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.